Hello guys, uh, let me demonstrate how to log in to the devices that you have in your GNS3 topology with your local PC. So to do that, you should have a wireless connectivity or uh, an Ethernet LAN connectivity and a GNS3 server and the VMware workstation. So let's check the network using ncpa.cpl command and as you can see uh, I have connected to the Wi-Fi network and I don't have any Ethernet connectivity and to VMware network adapter so let's launch the GNS3 server application so in this version uh, the GNS3 server also automatically starts wherein the previous version we had a problem where we have to start application and again we have to manually start the GNS3 server as you can see it is automatically starting the GNS3 VM let's go to VMware and it will start loading Okay, just hit enter okay and okay let it be there and go to GNS3 VM and click settings so you should have a network adapter which is bridge to demonstrate this so I already have a network adapter which is bridge if you don't have you should click add network adapter and click finish once you finish it you just select that particular network adapter and click bridge which means it can connect directly to the physical network that is from your local machine okay so I already have the network adapter bridge let it be there and let's go to the GNS3 application so let's name a project GNS3 local machine login GNS3 devices just hit OK so to do that we require two entities one is the router let's drag Cisco 7200 series router and the other one is the cloud which is going to be the bridge between our local PC and the GNS3 server select GNS3 server here so just double click the cloud and remove all other interfaces which are not required as of now Ethernet 0 is the network adapter I configured for DHCP so I deleted everything else so just click apply and okay now let's have an interconnect between the router r1 and the cloud let me use fast ethernet 00 and cloud has only one interface that is ethernet 0 let's start everything now we are going to log into the router using the custom console and select putty ok let's maximize this screen so let's see the interface status everything is admin down and cloud 
interconnect is connected with fast ethernet 00, zero. so let's configure that interface interface fast ethernet 00, zero. let's give IP address as DHCP it is supposed to get the DHCP IP from my Wi-Fi connectivity and just give no shut the interface just came up let's wait for it to get an IP assigned to that interface okay the IP is assigned it is 192.168.89.133 from the DHCP. Let's give show IP interface brief. Okay, as you see, 89.133 is my first Ethernet 00, 00 IP now. Let's try to log in. Connection refused. Oh, it's because uh, we might not have enabled the SSH here. See, show IP SSH using SSH is disabled let's enable SSH using the crypto key generate RSA you can give a number between 360 to 4096 which will be the password strength of encryption so I'm just giving 1024 so IPSSH is already enabled. Uh, you can also give IPSSH version 2. And also we have to check what is there in the VTY configuration. There is nothing. So let's set the SSH to line VTY as an input transport input SSH I'm giving telnet as well okay just write the configuration confirm now let's give show IP interface brief select the IP let's put the session from our local machine just give open uh, yeah, uh, now before giving yes this security alert means the SSH is working properly but I think uh, we don't configure the username or password for the SSH access let me check we don't have one so let's configure a username Cisco with privilege 15 which means he has all the privileges and password as Cisco as well just write the config and now let's go and try to SSH from your local machine yes Cisco as username and the password is same as Cisco Oh, access is denied. Let's go back to the router R1 and see some settings. Uh, before that, we can run debug IP SSH to see what is the problem. Let's hit the password again see I'm getting some log the session closed because of maximum retries so what we see here the authentication field for user ID code 1 okay okay I got it 
so this is because uh, the triple a new model let's see if triple a new model is running or not okay it's not so let's configure this triple a new model in triple a authentication login default as local just write the config and now let's get the IP 89.133 just go to putty and just open it Cisco password as Cisco oh now we have access to the router from our local machine see you see the IP 192.168.89.133 but it's not a privilege mode so to log in as a privilege user we have to do one more configuration that is go to before that we undebug all to avoid unnecessary logs config t line btui 0 to 4 privilege level 15 okay just write it now let's try to ssh okay now we logged in as a privileged user and that too from our local machine so here also the IP is 89.133 and let's close this so 189.133 is from our PC and the console R1 is from the GNS3 both has the same IP so thanks for watching and please subscribe and help me to get thousand subscribers thank you everyone